What's going on my friends, DJ Low Stacks here. Welcome back or to the channel and welcome to another gig log. This very well may be the last wedding of the season. I do have one potential client teetering for a New Year's Eve wedding, so that one might happen. But as of right now, this is the last wedding on the books. Today is Thursday, November 11th, and the wedding is actually tomorrow. Uh, we're heading up tonight because it's about a three and a half hour drive to uh, where the wedding is going to happen. It's at Shandy Creek, which is um, up by Traverse City, Michigan, up that, that area. Uh, Bel Air is, well, Short Brewing Company, if you know what that is. Um, that's where it's at. We're headed up there here in a few minutes. The reason I say we is uh, my boy Mike is coming with me. Mike Easter, DJ Holiday. Uh, he's one of the Lux Entertainment DJs. He's gonna be coming with me and he's actually going to the collective with me as well. So we're uh, doing this wedding, coming home. I've got a photo booth event Saturday night and then we get up Sunday to fly out to Phoenix, Arizona for the DJ collective out there in Scottsdale. So super fun event uh, coming up here. Uh, Mike should be here any minute and we're gonna hit the road. This is a big, big package we got today, guys. Check this out. So this is trailer. Might get a little dark, but so we're using the short totems because I honestly just don't have room for the big ones. So we're gonna rock the short totems. I haven't even used those yet since I bought them, but we're gonna have the Astera tubes. We've got CO2 cannon. So we're gonna have the, the club cannon there for the, with the CO2. Uh, shout out to Jason Janai for the hookup on this stand. Um, rock and roller cart. We've got 24 up lights. The movers are up there. We've got photo booth. And then Mike is actually bringing Two more speakers so we're gonna be running four j8s um, this is about a 200 person wedding so <clears throat> i wanted to have plenty of sound uh to go along with all the extra lighting so we're gonna have plenty of sound and i got a little surprise coming for you guys i have ordered something uh it's a little step up from the j8s but they're still gonna be white so if you guys can guess what that is hit me up down in the comments but those are on the way they should be here potentially into next month uh they're on order so that's coming but yeah again mike's on his way guys we're actually down one astero tube so i've only got seven astero tubes right now because i don't know if you guys can see that but i dropped this one or it got tipped over and cracked i did order a replacement lens for it it was only 50 bucks for a replacement pvc tube so not a big deal, that's on the way, but we're gonna be rocking seven of stairs for right now. No big deal. But all right guys, I'm gonna jump in the truck. Mike should be here any minute and we're gonna hit the road. Peace. What's up? So fast forward about three and a half hours. We finally made it to the venue. We've actually been loading some stuff in because it's like a ghost town here. There's like nobody here, which is super nice. So here's the room where reception's gonna be. We're gonna be set up here on this wall, I already got some gear loaded in. Uh, Mike and I have been playing with the elevator, which has been cool. So ceremony site's gonna be in here. What I mean by playing with the elevator is I'm downstairs, he's upstairs sending me gear down. Uh, he's unloading it from the trailer and then sending it in to me, which has worked out really nicely. But we got a couple more loads of gear and then uh, We'll be set, so I think we're running up, waiting in the booth and totems. See, check this out. Elevator. I can hear the cart, so he's upstairs right now. It's kind of funny. And there it is. There's the booth. So get this thing rolled in. All right, so that's pretty much the last of it. So check this out, this is gonna be photo booth. So we're gonna stick the salsa here somewhere. And then photo booth, this will be chairs and whatnot. So, should be pretty sweet. Check this out though, so this is head table. So big wedding party. We've got eight on each side. Pretty cool.
foam sticks over here. Well, I'm about to head back up. Find Mike. He's gotta be pretty close to being done unloading. So, this place is a ski resort and they got like two golf courses here too. I just set another one down. Did you? Yeah. But I was going to shut this out because I didn't want uh, That case is uh, unlocked too, like the legs or the wheels on it. That one? Okay. So we got a few more things to run in, looks like. Just movers, CO2, and that's about it. What's up? There's two dudes in an elevator. He's <laughs> hiding behind me. <laughs> We got a lot of crap in here. Check this out. Hmm. Loaded with my homies. Oh. Yeah. There we go. So if you're not using Aluminum CO2 tanks, you need to be. So much easier to carry. Well, that's everything, guys. It's a lot of crap. So we got Mike's J8s, my J8s, a stereo tubes, truss, 24 up lights, booth, Chave moving heads, club cannon, CO2, miscellaneous bullshit. Photo booth is going to be right here. So, yeah. Well, we're going to go check out the hotel room real quick and uh, park the truck and all that stuff. So, stay tuned. <sighs> well, guys, we made it to the room and it's like, <laughs> kind of reminds me of The Shining. If you guys have ever seen that movie, insert clip here. Here's Johnny. <laughs> So, I got a nice balcony though. It's pretty cool. I don't know what's out there. So this place is probably like super busy in like the dead winter, but right now it's like the off season, big time. So. Party with friends. Yeah, well that's kind of cool. All the balconies kind of connect there. Uh, yeah. Well, I think a bunch of people from the wedding are actually down at the bar, so we're gonna go park the truck and probably swing by there for a second and then come back up and work on some music. But we will catch up to you uh, shortly. All right, guys, so morning of, oop, let me get some light. There we go, morning of, just waking up, gonna go grab some coffee, I guess there's a Starbucks here in the building. Uh, there's a huge lake over here that I didn't notice last night because it was dark out, but. Yeah, we actually, as you guys saw, we loaded in last night. We have not set up yet. So we're gonna go grab some coffee and go ahead and get set up. Um, the room's open, just got a text. So we're gonna go get set up and uh, just kind of get a jump on things. So catch up to you in a second. All right guys, sorry we did not do a time lapse of the setup, but we are all set up. We got photo booth, uh, the up lights. We opted to not do the moving heads and totems because the ceilings in here are kind of low and uh, I just didn't I didn't want to do it. I didn't think it was going to look good. Plus, we're kind of right on top of the dance floor. You'll see when I spin this camera around. But here you go. So, a booth here, dance floor. So, we got 24 up lights. We do have 24 up lights around the room. We got the Astera tubes. And, fun fact, if you have a CO2 tank and they don't give you a siphon tank and you flip them upside down, it works. So, little little tip there I had one of uh, one of the other guys not gonna name any names but he borrowed the club cannon and instead of having my co2 canister uh, filled which I have a 30 I had a 35 pound siphon tank um, he went and had it exchanged at a hydroponic store and they gave him a regular tank and 
it's not my tank so he's buying me a new tank let's just put it that way uh, but here's photo booth this is a really this is really cool so this is their little scene that they have set up here the backdrop it's all good baby cool little table so they had the chairs back but because of the framing with the salsa it wasn't working out so uh, here's a salsa I'm gonna I got two Astera tubes I'm gonna put on the sides uh, later on here but for right now that's what it looks like and like I said we got 24 up lights all around the room and then in here is gonna be the ceremony area so once they tear down these chairs they're moving four of these tables into this room and the buffet is also gonna be in here but I'm set up right here for ceremony and the view of this place is freaking awesome man so check this out really nice spot but, all right guys we're gonna go grab some lunch uh, we have a couple hours before ceremony starts so we're gonna grab some lunch hang out work on some music and uh, yeah get this party started in about three hours This crazy hallway that reminds me of The Shining. <laughs> it's so creepy. Check this out. So fast forward about three hours, we are all set up, ready to go here to celebrate with Joe and Logan. We've got the booth set up, the monogram on the front back there if you guys can see it. Stair tubes, all that stuff. I walked through that earlier. I do have the ceremony set up, done. So that's back here in this corner. Alright guys, ceremony is done. Let me give you guys a quick update. So ceremony is done, we're in the cocktail. I'm gonna spin the camera around and uh, show you guys the room now that everything is set. Uh, the divider walls down from where ceremony was and we're in full cocktail mode. It's all good, baby. It's all good. It's all good, baby. So I never, I never end a vlog on camera. So I'm gonna end this vlog on camera as I'm pushing stuff out to the elevator. But awesome event, second to last wedding of the year. My last one is officially New Year's Eve. They're booking. So I got that one in Frankenmuth. Should be a good time. But yeah, this was great. I had Mike come with me. He's over here. Yeah, you guys have seen them a couple times, but not as much dancing as I thought there was going to be, to be honest, but it was still a good, 
Still a good party. Good people, no problems. Good people, no problems. Good energy. Everyone had a good ass time. So that's all that matters, right? All right, we gotta get this shit out of here. I'll see you guys later. Peace.